and welcome back to the British Pokemon League probably the most fun league I've been part of uh, Megas and Legendaries running absolute riot however this week uh, I'm against Dogsy and neither my Mega or Legendary is joining the team so as we can see from the teams in front of you uh, Dogsy has a, a very big fighting weakness so I'm bringing Conkildor um, hopefully I can get the burn orb off and he's just going to go riot uh, hitting everything with Mac Punch or Drain Punch uh, it's going to be carrying Knock Off to hit that Necrozma um, and to go hand in hand with uh, Conkildur I've also got Hydreigon uh, mostly as a check to that Necrozma it's probably the biggest threat to my team that I can see um, in his team he's got quite a few swift swimmers that's why I've left leaving Kyogre out um, and I've also got wheezing along for neutralizing gas hopefully to slow down that Illumise as I think that's gonna be my biggest problem if I don't stop that thing uh, I probably lose and of course one of the biggest threats in his team is that Mega Kangaskhan again that's another reason for Weezing to come if I get that out on the field with Kangaskhan it's gonna limit the amount of damage it does because it doesn't get the parental bond boost um, finally that he's got the Ditto which will transform into any of my mons at any given point unless Weezing's on the field so I think Weezing is going to be play quite a vital role this week with its neutralizing gas so that's it for now from me, uh, see you at the end uh, where I'll break down the team but enjoy the video where I'm not actually bringing my legendary or mega this week
and that's the end of that so we're handed our first loss in week two uh, in the British Pokemon League uh, it was a fun battle a really good best of three Dogsy was on point with his switches he made the right calls at the right point I was way too predictable um, I still think I took the right team I think my team was probably the best it could be to take on what he had there uh, especially because Gastrodon didn't have the window berry so uh, I had no problem taking that out um, yeah just a bit disappointed to lose uh, but it was a very well played game by Dogsy so just breaking down all my mons that I had out uh, first off Terra Cat didn't even hit the field so uh, we'll ignore that one uh, Whimsicott done well, it was an offensive modest Whimsicott uh, so it was able to take out Gastrodon as long as it weren't carrying a Rindo Berry um, and it done what it said on the tin basically sadly wasn't enough to 2-0 last, his last two Mons um, but it would always struggle against that um, then Raichu done quite well in the last game um, I didn't really use it for what I planned on using it for. Some follow me with setup from Hydreigon. But yeah, it came in, done the job. Um, it was happy-ish with it. Uh, Concorder would have been amazing if I played it better. Like It, it was so close to getting so a lot of KOs. Um, if I predicted the Necrozma switches at all i could have got the knockoff off done big damage and then uh, it would have really been struggling to ko uh, my hydragons at that point it is what it is though i i didn't plan or watch his switches and predict well enough i just went for raw power and aggro uh, which was my downfall um, Hydreigon, yep, got nasty plot up. It really dominated game two. It was very, it was uh, very good and very strong there. And Weezing, I just didn't get it on the field at the right times. Um, so that's my own fault. But it, oh hey ho, live and learn. And um, we'll move on to week three, where it gets so much easier. We face Lat. Um, so for those of you that don't know season two all i wanted to really do was face lat the season one champion uh, it never happened we were on course to meet in winners and then he got knocked into losers then i got knocked into losers and when we were on course to meet in losers he got knocked out of losers um so it was a shame but it is how that it's how the cookie grumbles sometimes but got him next week uh, it'll be a really fun and interesting game. He's got Volbeat as a partner to Illumise, so Illumise cost me enough trouble this game. So let's see how Volbeat does next week. Uh, until then, guys, uh, see you soon. <laughs>